Hello everyone. In this session, we will learn about the Postman keywords. Okay, so if you see that if I type certain things, so not in here, uh, let's say in my scripts. So if I type, so you, you see these kind of uh, keywords, right? So these are reserved keywords for for Postman. So how can we use that? So basically uh, there are some important ones which I'll talk about. One is GID, right? The other is timestamp. And then random uh, things like this is taken from Faker library. So this is very useful when we have to create random data. Uh, it's very useful for APIs like registration where you have to supply first name, last name, email and phone number, right? Okay, also uh, there is a, uh, one other good thing. Basically, if sometimes if you have to generate uh, uh, dummy data kind of thing, so you can use the lorem paragraph something like that so these are uh, the important ones uh, but uh, you can uh, learn about it in fecal library but mostly we use these kind of things so now i will tell you what's the uses so git is basically you will get a uh, database stub uh, 64 bit uh, 64 character database stub 32 to 64 character database stub this is very useful when you have to supply some unique data a unique kind of uh, append some unique kind of string right timestamp is very useful when you want to make sure that i want to get a uh, unique data every time i hit the api or hit the uh, some request and this is basically random uh, first name last name very useful in registration uh, this is uh, not unique but uh, since faker has so much data in their library uh, it will give you the unique data every time. So you can make sure that it will work uh, rather than using this. So in this case, uh, you get some stub ID, which is not like very useful or well, not very, uh, uh, you can say is uh, user friendly. So rather than using this, we use this, but I'll show you uh, the examples of all these. So what you can say, we can delete it. And uh, in body, uh, we can use one by one uh, not here login so let's say if i have to use timestamp so i can say timestamp like this right and now if i hit this request after clearing out my console and clearing out this and now if i hit this so in request you should see Wait a second, I think it's taking a lot of things from it's taking a lot of things from collection level. So what I would do is basically for now I would just remove this. Or maybe I can create one more collection to show you the example, like right? random example. or keyword example and 
make post save data is this data is uh, wait wait is this here i would replace this with our values let's say first get and uh, this is our api request right if we hit this sign in failure password can be blank if we see that in our console so headers we don't need uh, so we talk about body see so this is how you can enter any grid similarly for timestamp you would replace this with timestamp and if you see this second one you should see a timestamp value right and uh, so how can you use that you can you could say that this plus at the gmail.com uh, If you see this right so you can generate a dynamic email id like this so this is for it like now if i want to show you a random email so we could use dollar random email now this time you would see a, a random email which would be a user friendly and correct data taken from fecal library so if you see the request see so that is why it is useful compared to other ones right so this is how you can use these keywords uh, let's give you a real example uh, like registration what i would do i would create a registration api of staging not staging not engineer ai right so i could go in registration page here i would capture the api and say temple at yopmail.com here i could supply in some name here i could say something like this right uh, organization i could say bombay bomb password i could say test the rate one two right and now while registration i will capture the request so the request is users this is my request i would say this is the endpoint
This is the payload and post type of data. Now uh, here I would use uh, those random things, right? So I could say this is dollar random first name. This is dollar random last name. This is dollar random email. Sorry. This is actually dollar random email. Password, I could say my. stamp phone number I could say dollar random phone number user type user organization I could say dollar random let's see what's if something there for organization random company yes so i could say this right now if i hit this api after saving it and i could name it register And if I hit this, so rather than text, it would be JSON, and header header would be content type, application JSON. Right. So this is how the request is created. but i think it uh, did not work like the first name last name thing okay yeah i did not use uh, this so you have to use this guys for any variable when you are uh, writing it under body or endpoint or headers this is important Save it, run it again. Okay, so the most of the things worked like last name this, email this, and uh, company name, where is the company name? Company name this, right? Uh, I think something happened with the first name. Random last name, so let's see random first name this should be this and i have to put this here okay so name uh, the n would be large that was the mistake right so guys this is how you can use these keywords to create uh, data a lot of data using faker libraries random function or some built-in ones from postman like timestamp GUID. okay see you in the next session